witness could ever say with a with finality that would satisfy everybody in this world. Gerald Posner is the author of a book on the Kennedy assassination called Case Closed, in which he determined that Lee Harvey Oswald did, in fact, act alone. Gerald, good morning. Nice to see you again. Nice to see now, you, Katie. I think after four decades, we are all, no matter where we stand on what happened, it is such a fascinating case, isn't it, on so many different levels? Yeah, it is because, I mean, first of all, it's the assassination of a president. So it makes the crime a, a, a major one. And it's the assassination of a charismatic young president, Jack Kennedy. And it's the first television killing in many ways. The Zapruder film, we're watching this on tape. It would be as if we had a tape of Bobby Kennedy or Martin Luther King being killed or somebody killing O.J. Simpson's wife. And then you have the murder of the assassin a couple of days later live on television. All of this, with the mystery around it, makes it a case that I think is going to endure for a long time for discussion. Were you surprised that 68% of those polled by that Zogby poll believe it was a conspiracy? No, actually, I'm surprised it's not 90% think it's a conspiracy. I'll, I'll tell you why. You get the Warren Commission coming out with a result a year later that says Oswald alone. First of all, Katie, the whole idea of a blue ribbon panel telling us, the American people, a bunch of middle-aged white men sitting behind closed doors for a year on the assassination of the president and then coming out with a report that says, oh, by the way, the assassin alone, not explaining his motivation, not investigating the mob connections into Jack Ruby, all things that look terrible, not looking into the possible cover-up by the FBI and CIA. No wonder people had doubts. And then what do you get? You get the next 38 years of people just putting out conspiracy books, 2,000 books that say it's a conspiracy. Oliver Stone's $50 million movie. No wonder, I'm not surprised, people have heard only one side of the story, that 90% don't say it's a conspiracy. Well, when you started your book, Case Closed, I know you believed there was a conspiracy, so you did not necessarily set out to say Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone, but eventually, and I'm, I'm assuming, Gerald, you did tons and tons and tons of research and investigating. There, there was a time it was actually difficult to walk through my apartment because there were papers piled up everywhere, much to my wife's great dismay. I will tell you that, Katie, anybody who starts out to say it's Oswald alone should have their head examined because as a good investigative reporter, you have to look at this case and think there are a lot of questions. My suspicions were about the mob because of Jack Ruby. And look, at I'd love to be sitting here today and say, Katie, I've got the absolute definitive evidence that there was a conspiracy in the assassination of Jack Kennedy. It'd be the biggest story, bigger than Woodard and Bernstein and Watergate overnight. But in the end, I just didn't find it. Well, what about some of the questions that were raised in the piece, the medical records? You know, a lot of people think the autopsy photos and reports were somehow fake. You have mysterious events surrounding the actual assassination, the grassy knoll, people, eyewitnesses saying they saw a gunman right. from another direction. You had the bullets. Uh, you know, the, the wounds in the back of the head as well as the throat, which seems to suggest they were coming from two different directions. And then you have Lee Harvey Oswald himself. I, I think that one of the most difficult things about this case, and the, and the reason that it will never be resolved in many ways, is what you just said, the evidence. Because you have to determine what the evidence is and what you agree that you're going to use in saying what happened. And the autopsy x-rays and photos you mentioned, a perfect example. I look at those and think they're conclusive that they show, for instance, Kennedy being shot from behind. But other people say, wait a minute, Posner, you're completely wrong because they were faked. Now, if you can't agree on what evidence is real and isn't, the Zapruder film, which we just watched a, a moment ago on the clip, I think is one of the most important pieces of evidence you could have about a murder. You've got a film of the actual murder taking place. But, Katie, there are a growing number of people who think it's a conspiracy who say the Zapruder film was faked. So now, how do you argue with right, that? Right, how do you counter that claim? It's very difficult to counter. Well, 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 what is the explanation for their contention that both the autopsy photos and the Zabruder film are fake? Because science today can answer many of the questions the Warren Commission couldn't answer. The Warren Commission made a bundle of errors. It's one of the reasons we have so little faith in them. They got the shooting sequence wrong at Dealey Plaza. They had the timing off. And science today can take the film, take the autopsy x-rays and photos, and give you specific answers. If the answers are answers you don't want, if you think there's a massive conspiracy, the only thing you can say, well, you know what, that evidence does support that, but something must be wrong. I'll give you a perfect example. But do they have any evidence that they're fake? In other words, other than just saying oh, they Oh, yes, are. they show shadows in the film. There are people that make a career off of this that say, by the way, we think this shadow shouldn't be here. A little bit like the moon landing. By the way, why are there no stars in the sky? There are answers to all of this, but if you don't know the answers, it sounds quite persuasive give you an example of something. You may remember that around the time of Oliver Stone's film on JFK, everyone was demanding that the files be released from the Warren Commission. They'd been hidden for years. One of the reasons people think it's a conspiracy. They've been released in the last six years. They're all out. Do you hear anyone talking about them? 
no, because they don't show a conspiracy. So, of course, what do people say now? Well, they must have destroyed the key document before they released it. There is no answer in the end. But don't you think it's just part of our fabric? We've been talking about this all week. I mean, this country was founded on the principle of questioning authority. And, of course, post-Watergate, our skepticism and mistrust in government was only amplified. So yeah. it almost seems natural that people are suspicious. And as you say, the Warren Commission only may underscored that they did have a reason to be suspicious. Oh, I agree. There are many reasons to be suspicious in this case, and, and you hit them right here. Not only are we skeptical, but in some ways, I call this the mother of all conspiracies. This is our loss of innocence. We come out of the gray 1950s and President Eisenhower, and all of a sudden, Jack Kennedy gets killed, and then we have Bobby Kennedy killed and Martin <clears> Luther <throat> King and Watergate. They lied to us about Vietnam. We're skeptical about any official explanation, especially this one. All right, Gerald Posner. Gerald, thank you. Thanks, Katie. We'll be back.